Hey, how's it going, guys? So anyway, today what I want to do is I want to do a first-time reaction to this video. And it's called the Introducing the PlayStation 30th Anniversary Collection. What's it about? I don't know. Could it be about something that ha something that came out in... Could it be about the PlayStation's history from 1994 all the way to 2024? I don't know. But, I suppose there's no time like the present to find out. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Three, two, I hope I know what I'm doing, one, and my friends here we go. Hi, I'm Kristen Satani with Police. Okay. Global Content Communications Manager at Sony Interactive Entertainment. Log. And today, all of us at Sony Interactive uh -huh. are so excited to debut the yeah. PlayStation 30th Anniversary Collection. Uh-huh. So what is it? You want to get to it, maybe? Maybe tell us what it is and what's in it and what the heck you're talking about as part of playstation's 30th anniversary yeah. to do that i'm being joined by someone who can show us exactly Real. how special this collection is hideyaki Real. nishino ceo of sony interactive platform business group nishino-san nice to see you hi Kristen. thank you for inviting me yeah of course hi everyone thank you for joining us today okay. as you know the original playstation i don't get this what the heck does this have to do with a 30th anniversary collection? Like, here's what I thought. Here's what I thought they meant. I thought they meant so. I thought they meant they were going to bring out games that came out on the PS One and make them playable on the PS Five, or games from the PS One, Two, and Three, and make them playable on the PS Five. Debuted in Japan on December That's what 3rd, I thought, 1994. We knew really? that in 2024, to uh -huh. celebrate this 30th anniversary milestone, yes. we have to create something that honor the history really? and joy that PlayStation has brought us all since the 90s. Really? So, basically, what it is is you're basically taking the you're basically taking the design of the PS5 and you're just redoing it. You're kidding, right? You're kidding, right? You've got to be kidding. This is not what you do for a 30th anniversary collection. What you do is you take games that were available on the PlayStation 1 from back then, and you import them over to, to the PlayStation 5 now, so that that way... People can play them, regardless of whether they live in Japan, which is a lovely country, by the way, or Europe, or Asia, or South America, or Canada, or North America. That's what you should do. But really, you're you're just basically gonna you're just basically gonna take the design of the PS5 and you're gonna re-release it as a 30th anniversary collection. You gotta be kidding me. And I do mean all of us. Really? The past and the present employees, fans and the players around the world, all of our amazing partners, really? even colleagues and really, the competitors. Really? We've all shared and challenged Come each other. Come on, dude. Experienced so many amazing games and moments together. You have got to be freaking I kidding me. I truly want to express my gratitude. I do not even know what the heck. Into their lives. I do not know well, why we they're doing this. Take this first look at the 30th anniversary collection. Really so did. let's take a look first at the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition 30th Anniversary Limited Edition bundle. Now, really, this is this is what you're doing. So, do you, is this really what you want? Is this really the hill you want to die on? You already you already fucked up with the PS5 Pro and the price tag you set for that. 
And now you want to now you want to go on to this, and you're not and you're like, you know what? We do have the PS Five Pro coming out. Why don't we make that the thirtieth anniversary collection? And oh, I don't know. I actually make two versions of it, one with the disc drive and one without. So then that way, people if they don't already have a PS Five can actually get one, get a PS Five Pro. With the disc drive, if they if they if they prefer. Oh, this PS5 looks pretty familiar. For me. Yeah, yeah. So uh, obviously we bring really? the original Gray Color yeah. back to this PS5 really? digital edition, and then. So, Sony, this is the hill you've chosen to go to. An all digital, an all digital PlayStation. Sony, you do, you, you do realize. And I mean, surely you must have realized this by now. Not all of your customers have really good internet service, or not all of your customers have all digital games. Surely you must have realized that by now. It's panel, but yeah. also the main body has a great coding as well. I mean, surely you, you must have. Yeah, yeah. So on the front, uh, when you look at this yeah. space, uh, okay. it has the PlayStation 30s anniversary uh, printing. Really? And you're, then on top, you're really doing top, this. Uh, there's a PlayStation They're really logo doing this. in the original full color version as well. Hey, cool. Jeez, well my well, favorite please, thing that I've spotted you guys already is I see this far. On the back here. Why this didn't you the guys the just? Oh, I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. know. So th this is uniquely designed just for this update and then, uh, we game. Are just make it so that way you can play PS One, PS Two, PS Three games on the PS Five. Why not just do that then? I mean, that would make a lot more sense than doing this. Because basically, you guys are choosing to go to an all digital future. In the center, there's a which, which is no, of the which is no future at all. You know, you might be yeah. The, color. the original color. Really, you're really going with this, really. So you're gonna basically make the controller the same one you already, you pro most of us probably already have, and you're just gonna paint it to look like the original PS One controller. And you think that's and you think that's a thirtieth anniversary collection? No, that's not a thirtieth anniversary collection. No. Yeah. So this has been done by Tokyo Engineers. Oh, you have got to be kidding me here! I mean, seriously, you got to be kidding. You're you're joking, right? This is ridiculous. And then you might be noticed on the grip side as well. It matches what? the inside of the console. Yeah, so this is the uh, 30 years anniversary version of the shape. You have the got texture. to be putting me it. on yeah. here. All right, and then is this the controller cable here? Oh, yeah, you've is. got Holy to be God. kidding me. It looks kind of familiar too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So really? maybe you remember the moment like when you plug your controller into the original PlayStation. Oh, yeah. This is the connector. That looks nothing like it. Nothing at all. First of all, the PlayStation 1 controller actually had a cord attached to it. Nitwit, if you, that is if most of us re would probably remember that. But this, this is more or less taking the idea of a PS5 controller and just trying to make it look like a PS1 controller. Which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. I love that. So today we use USB C for really? the charging cable, but the, we want to bring back some memory when you start playing it. Really? That's what we wanted. Sony, can you explain to me or to anyone how this makes any sense at all? Huh? Exactly. Get a dog. And it's also got these. Really? So you took the idea of a PS one the the cord that was on the PS one, try to make it look like try to and put this and put this in here, like a PS five, and it basically gave it this crap. Well, so you know here's a crazy here's a crazy idea that maybe you're not aware of. Why didn't you just you know? Make a controller if you're gonna make it like the PS One that has a freaking wire attached to it. 
PlayStation shaped cord ties. It's just one of the, a the few accessories that it's come with just the bundle. A thought, uh, people. Some stickers, we got a paper clip as well. But very cool just to check out the bundle all together. <laughs> it's great. All right, well, now that we're done with the bundle, what is this over here? So that's oh, what yeah, now? Oh, sweet Jimmy Christmas. <sighs> they took the PlayStation Portal and they screwed that up. They screwed up that even more. PlayStation Portal. I love the PlayStation Portal. Seeing it in these original gray colors. Oh, so you've got to be kidding. Yeah, you can find the PlayStation logo in the original color as well. Really? The same as the DualSense. Uh, we have uh, this script. Well, uh, has a printing of the 30 years anniversary. Why? Of the and then what's the Dad, Yeah, so yeah, there's a, guys, uh, a printing of the PlayStation Just pay, pay, no Very cool. I love that. Now, does the Portal come with the bundle? Uh, no. Uh, Jesus. And the Are you ready? Right, well, let's take a look at the PlayStation 5 Pro 30th Anniversary Limited Edition bundle. This looks fantastic. It is so exciting to see the Pro in those original colors. But what else is going on with the Pro that you can tell me? Yeah, so the difference from the original standard version is. Uh, uh, of course. Nice. Uh, uh, to course, sell, uh, one to three hundred units globally only. How silly of me! How silly of me to actually think that you know. Sony would actually you would actually use you know common sense to realize if they're gonna if they're gonna make a PlayStation Five, it look like a PlayStation One, or just redesign it in the original style of the PlayStation One or whatever the heck they're doing with this. Why didn't they just redesign the controller to look like a PS One? For the anniversary yeah. of the PS1 controller. Jeez, not that freaking hard. Can't be that hard, dude, can it? Yeah, so it's a very cool no. system. This is different from the original PS5. Yeah. Love that. Nice. Well, really? Let's have a great vertical stand and some of the same accessories as the PS5 bundle. Uh, but this has all the features of the PlayStation yeah, Really? So this is the PS5 Pro, so it comes with a 2 terabyte bit. Of course. Of course you're going to mention that that thing that's going to become like literally an oversized paperweight that thing's literally going to become an oversized paperweight because nobody's going to want to buy it $700 for the console itself then you got to spend another 30 bu another 80 bucks to get it to get the disk drive 30 for the stand you know what that is, people? That's eight hundred and ten dollars altogether. You heard me right, eight hundred and ten dollars, just so that that way you could actually have a PlayStation Five that can actually play games again. Instead, you could go out and buy a a a regular PS Five, and problem solved. Isn't it? Yeah. Shocking, isn't nice. it? Well, I know what also sets this up. I know it's hard to believe. Is the charging it? station and the dual sense yeah, so What is this? What is this? What? Now? Really? Your anniversary really? ships are freaking on the patch pad. Really? And then that works. So you basically didn't do a. Uh, this, uh, oh my God! The People, they didn't do a darn. They didn't do a damn thing so, uh, with this. Here, uh, two they just more or less to took the same also, design the and just did nothing well. with it. Look at this case for yes, the they did nothing edge. with it. it. Color, uh, Mac, what is uh, this pile of? What's this piece of junk? What's this junk? Now, the DualSense Edge is also available separately, like the DualSense and PlayStation Portal. Oh, friends. you got it. Okay. Well, it has been so much fun checking out. Oh, the my God. Is there anything else that we want to share with them? Yeah, we designed the packaging. You for have got to be you freaking play as well, so I hope you will enjoy the out of the box. This is what well. you come out with. Well, you can head to PlayStation Blog to read the full packaging details and all the accessories. <sighs> uh, and pre-orders begin September 26th. You have got to be freaking Thank kidding. you for joining us today, and here's the 30 years of play. You have got Let's to be kidding it together. You're... You're joking, right? This has got to be a joke, right? This has to be a joke. Oh my god, people. What the fuck did I just watch? I, I have... I got nothing left. I got nothing to say here. Sony, 
this is what you do for your 30th anniversary. You literally take the PS5 Pro that you know for a fact isn't going to sell very well. Because I don't imagine a lot of people are going are probably going to pay $700 for the console itself, $80 for, for the disk drive, and $30 for the stand. I don't imagine a lot of people are probably going to pay that much. And for those who do, I don't know why you would. Me, personally? I don't think so. This is ridiculous. So what do I got to say about this? Sony, you need you need to try again. You need to do you need to do better. You can do better than this. I know you can. So what do I give this what do I give this video in terms of presentation? 3 In terms of what they're offering, one. This was awful. This is garbage. And they're literally basically taking the PS5 Pro and trying to basically make it like a PS1. So, do I recommend you guys go pick this piece of garbage up? If you guys are if you guys are crazy enough to do it, then by all means, go ahead. I don't know what to tell you, okay? I really don't, okay? So, yeah. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Sony, come on. You can do better than this. I know you can. So, are you guys basically just phasing out of physical games altogether? And now you're going to this all digital garbage. If you are, why? You, because again, Sony, I'm going to point this out to you, and I'm not sure if this has crossed your minds yet or not. Not every one of your customers has high speed internet service or fast internet service, okay? Not every one of them does. And not every one of them wants to play all digital games. Some of us, like myself, prefer physical media. That's why I think physical media is freaking awesome. I really do. Yeah, I do. So, basically... Here's what I'm saying, Sony, and I'm and please do not misunderstand this in any way. Sony, I know you can do better than this. I've seen you guys do better than this. You guys really need to go back to the drawing board on this one. You really do. Okay? So what do you guys think? While you're at it, like the video. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And please, if you guys are going to give me a recommendation for something, please make sure it's not something like this ever again. Please. Share the video around. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Click the bell to be notified for future videos. Share the video around for those who wish to see. And my friends, do not forget to subscribe for more of me and these videos, not this one, you will see. Oh, you'll see this video, guys, when I upload it. Yes, you will. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you want to download this video, download this reaction video to your channel, go right the heck ahead. I don't care. I don't mind. Go right ahead. I don't care. <sighs> Remember, guys, this is the introducing the PlayStation 30th anniversary collection. So if you guys want to check this video out, go right ahead. It's on the PlayStation YouTube channel. Go right ahead and check it out. If you guys want, if you guys want to, go ahead. I don't mind. So guys, until next time. Later, fam squad.